It's quiet. Shoot. Is that good? Now it's fine. Okay, good. But yeah, we're going to be playing the original Persona 4. Other song was just really low. Yeah. Makes sense. So yeah, that was the intro. However, we're not gonna load in quite just yet because while I was checking to see if, make sure I wasn't in full screen and didn't have smoothing on, um, I realized that there's like a, tr a mini trailer and it's gonna play now. I've never seen it before, because I usually just immediately get into the game. April 2011. A peaceful rural town is shaken by bizarre murders. <sighs> Pinched me, Val. Why would you do that? What truths will those unraveling the case find? Is smoothing an option? It is. Who knows how it looks? Because this is pre-rendered footage, so turning it off and on didn't really change anything. Also, different battle theme. We get to hear the original. Ooh, original Teddy. <laughs> So you heard a little bit of Chia and Teddy there. But yeah, smoothing is an option. Smoothing is indeed an option. And as far as what I can tell, when I turn it on, it doesn't do anything. Like, I see no visible difference. So, for right now, we're gonna keep it off. I may turn it on when we can actually see the bottles to see if that even does anything. But... Yeah. New game with 70 hours and 41 minutes. Looks like we beat the game at roughly... Level 79, level 80. Also, our name was Chicken Pickled. We're not going to be chicken pickled. Before you begin the story, choose a difficulty level in battle. Oh yeah, there's only normal beginner and expert. 
Name makes sense, yes. Because <laughs> it does last name, first name. So we, we wrote it out fully as pickled chicken. But it swapped them. <laughs> ah! I'm doing all social links. I should probably just play on normal. Experienced game. <laughs> Are you... I guess beginner means beginner, and normal means not beginner, but I don't... experienced. You'll be able to enjoy the normal challenger battle, which requires a certain degree of strategy. Once you have begun, this setting cannot be changed without start restarting the game. Continue? What does it say if I choose expert? This setting is intended for highly advanced gamers. Battles will be more challenging than normal. Once you've begun, this setting cannot be changed without restarting the game. Continue. Do we do experienced? Or expert? How are we highly advanced? I don't think so. <laughs> Highly advanced. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Highly advanced has an odd ring to it. <laughs> if I beat the game like that, I do get to claim that I'm highly advanced. I am a highly advanced gamer. Alright, well... I like level grinding, and that's usually the solution to a harder difficulty. It's just take longer before get to objective. <laughs> I found a Persona 4 PS2 social link guide, by the by, and I think it's by the same person who did the Persona 3 Fez guide. So I trust them. Personathon just got two to three weeks longer because of this choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's fine. We've made our choice. Now please, sit back and enjoy the game. Characters, art, and storylines depicted in this game are purely the work of fiction. Any similarly similarity to person's lit- mm. Also, I don't think the subtitles are on, because they never are by default. So apologies for that. If they aren't. If they are, then I rescind that apology. Man, going from, like, colorful backgrounds to just, like, the black screen caused by the game capture is weird. Welcome to the Velvet Room. You want to say it got added for PC, but you could be wrong. There may not be subtitles in the 2D cutscenes. Hello. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment, sir. I'm going to test smoothing on you. This is smoothing off. This is smoothing on. Their faces are a little blurrier, and the edges of their models are not as pixely. Do we want this, though? 
Oh, and by the way, before anyone asks, screen mode off. Oh. <laughs> what did I do? What the fuck? Oh! It made it fill- it fit the screen. <laughs> it's more zoomed in. <laughs> Honestly, I don't mind that. <laughs> what do we think? We want to get a, a, a bit of a closer look? Or do we want screen mode normal? I've never seen that. Stick to four by three? It stretched to 16 by nine. Ah, that's why it was so close. Blech. And then, uh, smoothing is off, yeah. Oh, right, of course. But just for fun. This is full screen. Ew. We don't like full screen. Full screen is gross. It makes his nose even longer. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Is this a different Igor? Is this Persona 3 Igor? This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only I don't know if Golden or Four has changed, but he sounds like he's doing a different performance from Golden. But also, uh, it was literally over a year ago than <laughs> the last time I heard Golden Igor. <laughs> it may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Enter your last name. Enter your first name. I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? It hasn't been quite a year. <laughs> Do you believe? Are you sure about tale? that? Persona Thon of again, officially started in May. But I was playing Golden in April. Still the same actor from Golden and Three? Got it. I wonder if they had him redo some lines and that's- or I'm just insane and thinking, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result yeah. is always different. I was definitely playing Four in May, but I started in April. I just wasn't streaming it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles. Doesn't it? But yes. Essentially, it's coming up to being a year. For Personathon. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. But you heard Igor it in May. A terrible catastrophe is imminent. Well, I mean, 
This is true, genuinely, because... I was able to, uh... I was able to name myself, but I was so distracted by Igor not being able to speak words properly because of that bug for some people who play Golden on PC, um, that I didn't even pay attention to what he was saying. <laughs> I was just like, Igor, are you okay? The card indicating the future beyond that is... Oh. The moon in the upright position. The moon. This card represents a hesitation. He speaks in riddles. Mystery. Yes. Very interesting. I was completely ignoring his voice in favor of, like, the actual letter and character vomit that was the text box trying its best. But could not tell a letter from a number, a number from a symbol, and anything... There were no spaces between words. The spaces also just randomly got replaced with different symbols or letters, depending. So it was literally just vomit <laughs> on the screen. And I was like, mm, yes, wise words, Igor. Very, very mysterious. I, I have a future <laughs> that I'm, it yes. It <laughs> a misfortune mm. at your destination. <laughs> and a great mystery will be imposed <laughs> upon you. That clip when Nanako asks if we got car sick, and we think to ourselves, uh, and it literally, it's completely unintelligible. You don't look too good. And I was like, I don't think I am. <laughs> Feature, <laughs> yeah. So do you need to read the download the fix? Um, it was a beta mod that I forced the game to recognize. So, it was like a permanent patch, but it's a fan patch. I don't need to re-download it every time. It'll- it's in the game files. The only way is it would be gone is if I verified the integrity of the files. In which then it would clean out what was not, uh, in the release version. Hello, Jeppo. OGP4? OGP4. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. It's because of cloud saves. If you make any alterations to the files, um, they won't, the, it shouldn't change anything. Unless it breaks the game in which you then verify the integrity of the game files and it replaces stuff that's not supposed- It removes stuff that's not supposed to be there and replaces things that are broken. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. I mean, it's fine. Unsolved, your future may be forever lost. You technically had to deal with Teddy's old voice in Golden as well when you fight a shadow, so... It is going to be weird, though. To provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Ah, that one game that deletes your files. Uh, yeah. This one, whose saves occasionally just vanish, but if you get out of the save menu and get back in, they they come back. Who's the better, Chie, OG, or Golden? Well, you, you're talking from the perspective of, like, the original Chie voice only ever voiced Chie in the original Persona 4, whereas Chie's uh, golden voice is every other iteration of Chie, including games featuring the Persona 4 cast before Golden came out, such as, specifically, in reference to, Persona 4 Arena, and a lot of people say that the newer voice, the current voice actress, fits the personality that Chie is going for, like, the, that Chie has better. But I don't dislike the old, like, the original Chie voice. I just kind of... It's one of those tales, as far as we're aware, that it's like, she tried out voice acting, got Chie, wasn't for her, so she didn't ever voice anybody else ever again. The 
This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Like, I was able to play the- th I was able to play through this whole game with it. Even though I hadn't played Golden at all, I had played Arena and Ultimax. Or at least I've played Ultimax. And I'd heard her enough from Q at that point that I was like... Yeah, the new one fits really, really well. Uh, after this game, if you're friends with me on Steam, you'll have noticed that uh, Persona 3 Portable went on sale again. Uh, so I bought it today. Her old VA still does acting. Yeah, she does. A she's an actress, but she's not a voice actress. But acting and voice acting is really different. Like, you don't realize how difficult it is to do one and not the other, like, depending on which one you're more acclimated to. It takes a very, a very large amount of talent to be able to do both, because it requires different things in order to be, like, good or high quality. And it can be... Uh, all you have to do, for an example, like, I don't follow the actor, but if you want to see a voice actor who's going all out, but also has the studio that permits him to do what he did... Watch any, like, behind-the-scenes stuff of Jack Black voicing, uh, Poe from Kung Fu Panda. That dude goes crazy in the recording booth in order to really bring the energy in, because it's hard to pretend to have that energy if you're not actually doing the motion. So, you'll see him, like, swing his arms around or change the expression on his face and do all kinds of stuff to really sell the voice in whatever tone he's trying to do. And that's cool, but not everybody has the luxury of doing that, because if you have a mic that picks up every little bit of movement you do, you gotta be more careful. Which means people have to come up with different means of really selling, like, high energy when you're not actually doing anything particularly strenuous or of high energy. Because <laughs> you're either standing or sitting in a very small and very hot and sweaty room. <laughs> and it is not easy. I commend the people who are voice actors, because it's it's harder than, it's, than it looks. It's harder than it looks because you don't get to see how it looks, unless you do those behind the scenes. <laughs> you only get to hear the final product. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you. Question in OGP4, is it Troy Baker? Yes, it is. Until Arena Ultimax, Troy Baker voices Kanji. After Arena Ultimax, it's Mercer. Which means Dancing All Night, Persona Q, uh... And Arena Ultimax, those are the only games where he's, where he's Mercer. Unless there's another game that I'm not thinking of. Oh yes, Ganondorf. <laughs> right, oh, right, he's voicing Ganon. <laughs> Until then, farewell. You, I need, no, you need to give it to me. You need to give it to me. Hello, Rise. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure <laughs> At first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Hello, Theta. Yeah, he did Kanji's voice in the latter half of the animation, and all of the golden segment. Well, I'm sure that you all know already. But at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Preach at dark. <laughs> we 
You will arrive at the Yasugami Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. Because my original plans fell through, but they will be resumed on Friday. The scandal involves the Enkistar Misuzu... Vesperio will happen this week. Don't worry. <laughs> Should we go soon? Yes, just about. Also, the loading screen. No one. <laughs> hey, over here. Same as always. The only one who breaks the mold will be BZ because I refuse to let Shinji die. Yes, I did. I named him. It is Z Beastie. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Uh, it's been a long time. He lives if you get far enough in his social life. Really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. Because I think it's funny. And also, a reflection of my... Yes. <laughs> this here's my daughter. Also, I feel like the guy hangouts in 4 are probably the best out of any of the hangouts of Oh, you have no date. Forest is great. I love hanging out with Yosuke Kanji. They're fantastic. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. Beating each other up is fun. <laughs> I was talking about the Christmas one and the Valentine's Day. Also, the cabin, until it got weird at the end and the girls thought we were doing something inappropriate. Because Persona 4, golden. Ow! <laughs> I like hanging out with them, they're fun. The only one that I don't like is the, is the forced one with the, uh, camp out. But every single one after that doesn't focus on kanji super hard and in one of the most uncomfortable ways you possibly could. I just want to hang out with the dudes. I want to eat a cake with a bunch of, with a bunch of my friends on Christmas, okay? <laughs> well then, let's keep going. <laughs> I don't want to eat a cake with a girl. <laughs> My car's over there. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> you got in the car and headed for Dojima's house. <laughs> Disregard females acquire personas. <laughs> I'll be nice to them, but I'm not gonna date any of them. I'm a social link everyone. Because that's the idea. We're maxing all social links, but we're going full platonic. Inabo Central Shopping District gas station. Hi. 
Welcome to Mall. Hi. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh -huh. So we are we maxing Yoshi so we can punch the angst out of each other. Yes. It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? Doing anything about spoilers? It's New Game Plus. It's in the title. I feel like it's safe to talk about spoilers, especially considering I played Golden. Yes, it was a long time ago. But... No, we just went to pick him up. I just don't want any backseating. Whether I've played a game before or not, it's just never fun to be told what to do by somebody. A city, huh? Especially unprompted. Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Regular unleaded or premium? No accomplice ending. We can get it. I did get the bad endings in three Fez and five Royal. At least one of them. I got the, oh, I'm gonna tell Sae everything, and then she calls me a loser who sells out his friends. We can do the accomplice ending. I'm not gonna do the normal ending, though, because everybody knows the normal school? ending. I think I got the normal ending... How is there accomplice if there's no SL? Um, wait, is accomplice ending in Persona 4? Vanilla? I think it's the same because all you have to do is figure out that it's Adachi and then proceed to not tell your friends about it. You may have to. Although this one says you only need to rate, 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 reach rank 6 by the end of October. So you don't even have to be that high up. But of course, frustratingly... Frustratingly... Oh, you're so much Uh... Every single looking up of anything, when you type in Persona 4, always gives you golden results because nobody cares about vanilla for some reason. I mean, I understand, but it's like, people still talk about 5 and give comparisons between it and Royal. There's still, there was a ton of information out there, but maybe that's what it was. There wasn't that much information online about the original. What did Golden add besides the Dashi Social Link and Marie? The Juna's Rooftop Band, Costumes, The Ski Slope, The Valentine's Day. And that's it. <laughs> I know the pain of trying to find RE3 and only getting the remake. Yeah, that's basically what it is, is that there wasn't a lot of information originally, so when you look it up, all Google or whatever you use, maybe even Bing. Maybe Bing's the only one that will actually lead you to what you're supposed to be looking for. Or maybe not. Probably not. Um. <laughs> Skill inheritance choice. That's right. There's no Valentine's. Not, not really, no. Because of the... I think if you have maxed a social link, there's a day for it. But I think it just skips it automatically. I may be remembering wrong, though, because it's been so long. Mm. 
Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Or being amazing. Don't tell me what to do, attendant. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You're shorter than me. My controller just vibrated. Oh, I should get back to work. Don't, don't touch his hand! <laughs> no! Are you okay? It took an entire year. Clip this! We'll finally know what he thought before he went home! Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. Flashbacks to the <laughs> just a bunch of X's and Y's dizzy. Uh, you don't actually have to clip it if you don't want to. <laughs> you arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here. So it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway. Let's eat. Oh. Who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm -hmm. You busy? Yeah. I see. He busy. So where is it? Uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. Wait, the thing with the... Well, do you know your left, not the hand you hold your chopsticks... Or, the hand you don't hold your chopsticks in. If you're left-handed, do you still eat chopsticks with your right? Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Poor Nanako. No idea since you're right-handed? Exactly. My thought. I was like, do you? Or is it just like a thing? Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. The best, the weirdest thing is that in Golden, you are allowed to go into the menu and walk around and actually Next, save. Let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. I don't think I'm okay. <laughs> I don't think I am okay. <laughs> I don't know. 
Wait, oh no, just like the text word for word, or letter for letter. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I'd have to look, I, I, I mean, all I have to do is look at the clip and then copy it. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. But I probably won't make the proc be that long of a sentence. I'll probably just have it as, as little as, like, a single keyword. Because you already have to do, like, exclamation point thing. You might want to strike up a conversation. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like, crime scenes. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship. Adashi turns 40 today? Wow. His wife, Enka Ballad Sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. It is boring, Nanako. with our products every day's great at your genius every day's great at your nanako doesn't day. like plot <laughs> she wouldn't be the only one she'll grow up to be the one who skips all the cutscenes and then gets to the boss fight like what is happening <laughs> And then everyone's like, you would have known if you watched the cutscenes. And she's like, yeah, but the cutscenes put me to sleep. So I always skip them and then just fights the boss. <laughs> there are people like that. There are people like that. I've wa I watch a handful of people who are like that. <laughs> you can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Yeah, but there are just some people, even on a first playthrough, who are just like, nah, skip that shit. <laughs> Goodbye, uh, well, no, nah, let's just save down here. Damn, that was a long save, what the fuck? Oh yeah, no, it put me at back at level one. Okay, so the shortcuts are there. Ah oh, yes, my classic uh mild drift. Yeah, make sure it says save successful every time. You open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it. Eat it. It has no taste at all. Strange. Nothing catches your eye. It's the kitchen. If you have some ingredients, you can make lunch for tomorrow. Uh, my time? My compendium data... My items, maybe? I genuinely don't know why your level doesn't carry over, but... Oh, um... Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. You asked Nanako for, for permission and changed the channel to the forecast. Could it... <coughs> 
Personal stats. I do think personal stats carry over. I cannot open the menu yet. In golden, you could, like, immediately, but not yet. <laughs> this is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. You are tired from the long trip? It would be best if you went to bed early today. You are tired. Don't look at the TV. The TV not important. The futon has been prepared. Yeah, personal stats I think always carry over. The day will end if you decide to go to bed. You may have a good dream. Go to sleep? Yes. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Silent Hill is also a possibility. <laughs> Do you seek the truth? Although one is less ominous than the other, depending on who you ask. Depending on who you ask. The fact that I have to say that means many things. England does have a lot of fog, though. Sadly, no Midnight Channel. <laughs> you hear someone's voice. If it's the truth you desire, come and find me. The voice came from up ahead. You sent someone beyond this door. Continue through. Yes. So, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Oh, the UI is so tiny in this game! I completely forgot. Golden? Upscaled a lot of it. I don't think they recreated too many UI aspects. They recreated a number. Ninth man, is that you? I have Zeo. Hmm. It seems that you can see a little despite the fog. I see. Indeed, you possess an interesting quality. Makes sense, text would be bigger. Ah, yeah. You like this menu select better? It's easier to follow? It's almost exactly the same. <laughs> like, this menu in the bottom left, including the, the bar at the bottom and the command in the top right, is the same. The TV thing is also the same, although I think they made it a little transparent-ish, so it didn't, like, stick out at you, but I'm fairly certain this is the same. I have a single clip called What If uh, that shows me that shows some battle footage in like a late game. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. 
No, not bewildering fog. Everyone sees what they want to. Oh, GP4 shuffle time sucks. Oh, GP4 shuffle time is the same as Fez's. With some minor variations. And things that make it a little bit more annoying, but... Eh. <laughs> and the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here. Mm hmm. I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. Golden shuffle time is too easy. Yeah, I, I talked about it with Hart a little bit before he went to bed. Um, I was like, he, he had complaints about shuffle time's, like, negative effects, and I was like, yeah, coming from the perspective of someone who's in a dungeon for maybe no more than an hour at most, shuffle time with all the negative effects in order to it to not... In order to, like, keep the the flush bonus, it's like, oh, yeah, that's annoying. But if you're in a dungeon for multiple hours at a time, or you're, like, going back-to-back -back fighting everything, getting the, the flush bonuses, even with all the negative effects that are applied, you're in there so long that those moments where you get half EXP or no money, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Because you're just in there, and yeah, you'd get more, but you wouldn't have gotten the bonuses from the shuffle time, because you wouldn't be guaranteed a shuffle time at the end of your next fight if you didn't get the flush. Or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't have P4G VODs on my YouTube. Yeah, um, the VODs channel didn't exist when I did Golden. Breakfast ready. Unfortunately, it was too late. But I do have those two two singular clips of Golden. I assume so, Jeppo, but I don't know yet because I don't have access to the compendium, and I probably won't for a little while yet. It's almost time to get up. Yes, VOD's channel started right around 3 and 5 dancing. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Also, hello, Crimp. I didn't say hello to you. Hello. Yeah, Royal was not vaunted either. Okay. The only vods of mainline personas that will wind up on our on my YouTube will be. Uh, will be portable and uh, Shimgama Tensei Persona 4. Let's eat. Do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? Oh, you thought Golden's battle menu was like Portable's battle menu. Oh, that's what you meant when you said, okay. I, I understand now. I was like... <laughs> My school's on the way, so let's go together. Yep, two games, unless Atlas decides to do something. I know they've already got the Phantom X thing going on, but that's a mobile game. So, probably won't. <laughs> since there won't be a definite- a definitive end. Cause that's just how gotcha goes. The story never ends. And then they announce Remake before I finish Portable and I cry a little. I shed a single tear. <laughs> Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decided to head to school with Nanako. School zone, Samagawa floodplain.
Umbella. You keep going straight from here. Uh, this way. my I it goes, it goes somewhat back to normal, and I play a uh, a variety of games that I have stockpiled because people keep giving me them, among other things, while still playing a fair amount of JRPGs, just not as often and definitely not nigh daily. She's not the only one. What is it under? I think it's uplog. Uh, up, upcoming. School zone intersection in front of the school. Jumpy doesn't know command. I do believe it is upcoming. Yeah. That looked painful. You should leave him be. There's also a number of games that I've bought with my own money that have accumulated. Let's leave him be. You've arrived at the main gates of Yasugami High School. Um, I don't think there's enough information or uh, to say with certainty. They may, or they may not. Yeah, I don't really care for collecting the Steam cards, so if I have multiple, sure. <laughs> what kind of student life awaits you here? Because me and Hart were looking at it for Symphonia. Neither of us got cards of the same characters, but we never got duplicates. Bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Sam Regal was in this game, but didn't voice Teddy? Weird. Hey, you guys. I'm is that Teddy? A transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Yeah, huh indeed. I mean, sometimes it just happens. From the city. Just like you, huh, Yosuke? And here is original Chie. Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinchiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over yes, each other. Yes, like it is a completely different rooms. voice. It's a completely different performance. Um, I, I thought it was weird at first, but it grew on me over time. Chidori still sounds older. Yes, <laughs> this is true. And that get smoked kid from Persona 5 sounds the oldest of them all. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce yes, this trans Yes, Laharl. <laughs> this sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Are you calling me a loser? <laughs> huh. That 
That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. <laughs> Who's Laharl? A character, per actually, the protagonist, the main character of Disgaea 1, who shows up uh, as a cameo character in literally every other Disgaea game after that. <laughs> in various, in the form of being in various endings and as DLC. Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Mr. Moroka goes on and on. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. I believe the only voices who are different, uh, or who have changed over the course, specifically who are different in this game as opposed to Golden, are Chie and Teddy. Naoto's voice actress and Kanji's voice actor change, obviously, at some point, but between four vanilla as opposed to golden, they are all the same. Oh yeah, Risei changes for the dancing game. So the voice actress who does Rei. Marie is a different voice. <laughs> Marie isn't in vanilla. <laughs> so hurry up and sit down already. Yay, I will. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. No poetry means vanilla is three hours shorter. <laughs> oh no. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. How are... How are me and Val? Doing good. He's asleep. Well, falling asleep. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Wonder what he talked about during abnormal lecture. <laughs> yes, Crimp? He's seriously getting on my nerves. What? Automod, are you okay? Oh wait, I don't have to click anywhere. This is console capture. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Shit, yeah. Like every freaking fog. Lately, it gets all foggy. Freaking fog. <laughs> hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Huh? Yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. 
Are you serious? Twitch might be twitching. Hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? <laughs> Freaking fog. <laughs> Is it true that announcer's staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. How long is this going to take? There's no telling. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Yes. Yukiko is the same. Uh, in fact, as Day Nightfall said earlier, um, a lot of the audio is actually one-to-one -one exactly the same, because Golden, unless they needed to add extra recorded dialogue or had a new voice actor or actress that needed to re-record most if not all of their lines it's all archived from the original from the original form but unlike with tales of vesperia definitive edition if they got someone new except for shadow teddy they re-recorded everything i say except for shadow teddy because shadow teddy i don't know how sam would be able to do an evil teddy Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Considering there's an achievement in Golden to hear 500 hey, lines of dialogue for the NAV, as in, it's called, like, re true Rosette fan. If you hear 500 unique lines from Rosette, or Rise, as your NAV, who you cannot change, and it's not an easy achievement to get, I'd assume that there's not too many, but a thousand is too low. Yeah, hardcore Rosette fan. Listen to 500 unique lines of nav dialogue during battle. During battle. Why don't you come with us? And it's like, ah! <laughs> Surely she doesn't have that much to say. <laughs> Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? You do? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be nice, of course. Well, nice to meet you. You do? <sighs> huh? Yukiko Amagi. What? Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry no. <laughs> this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It's, it's 250 no lines. Problem. Okay, it's not 500, but 250 is still a lot. I just wanted to ask some stuff. <laughs> I overshot by double. You knew 500 was too high and you thought it was 300, so you were still too high as well. Just it was a lot closer than me. 250 lines of dialogue just for battle. And that's not an easy achievement to get. Not very many people have that one. It's called level grinding. Oh, poor Yosuke. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way he moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop 
right there. What did you do to my DVD? What the? I can't believe this. It is completely cracked. My trial of the dragon. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, are you all right? Oh, you could go, son. Are you worried about me? Did he re-record these? I'm I'm going insane. I feel like he did. He gave a different performance. He's fine, Yukiko. Yeah. Did okay, I'm home? not the only one. I think he redid some of his lines. He looks like he's in a lot of pains. Pain, a lot of pains. He's in so much pain that there are multiple. <laughs> You should leave him be. Okay, okay, I'm not crazy. He he did redo his that his dialogue. Cuz I was like that didn't that came off weird. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? What? Who who are you? Hello, Hyde. How's everyone doing? We're doing good. What's up with him? What school's he from? So when you play Blaze Blue Cross Tag, it's just high pitched. <laughs> oh yeah, we just yeah, that happened. Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. How's everyone doing? Yosuke is in pains. Uh and Krimp is tired. <laughs> I bet you a can of taffy gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? No. I, I'm not going. Fine. Bye. What, what did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Shh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. <laughs> We're just curious is all. Not dating everyone who asks you out isn't cruel. I agree. Sorry for dragging you into this. Especially if you've never met the person and they immediately started calling you by a nickname as if you've been friends for a while. Come on! Let's go! Everybody is staring! How long has your- the entire time. He has never changed. But I wonder- if golden is when he tried to make them more different like i i'm starting to wonder if maybe over time oh. he was just like no i need to do more i do need to do something different with that voice way more serious because we talked about how like in q he 100 percent pitched down makoto so that way they wouldn't sound too similar but now playing vanilla it's been a while since i've played this game um, realizing that he pitched Yosuke up for Golden onward, or technically as early as Arena onward, um, yeah, it's, it's that they were both equal, and then he pitched one up, and then Q happened, and he's like, that's still too close, I'll pitch the other one down. And that's how we got, 
uh, Persona 3 Protag, who kind of sounds like this, and, you know. This is true, the voice directors could have given him different, uh, different, uh, directions, and then he just carried it on with it from that point forward. There really is nothing here, huh? I mean, there's a field there. Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Yeah, I mean, a faster way would probably just look up a YouTube video. <laughs> oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or uh, pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait, there's the Amagi Inn. Then there's the steak! It's Come on, Chie! Huh? It's just an old age. Although all of this dialogue, although the voice has changed, or some of the voice has changed, one of the voice has changed, it's word for word the same. So she doesn't mention steak until Yosuke brings up steak. Oh, no way. It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. And then Steak becomes her character. I don't think that's entirely true. Except there's still more to her than just Steak, but... <laughs> so tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? I don't have to answer this. Do I? What was the most recent Whoa, Yosuke? In English? Dancing all n No, yeah, it's cross tag. I was about to say dancing all night, but I, I always forget that he's in cross tag battle. Which is so weird, because it's a blaze blue game. <sighs> so it's like, my brain does not go there. <laughs> don't think about it. Come on, don't start this again. I gotta play... I gotta play, uh, all the Blaze Blue games so I can title my first thing of Cross Tag Battle as, uh, Persona Thon Returns, but not really. She's really popular Do the school, story mode <laughs> for that game. Whatever story mode there may be of it, if there even is one. <laughs> Come on, stop it. And cry. Because I'll only know two of the titles. I'll know Blaze Blue and I'll know Persona. And I don't know Undernight. Might play Undernight before then. Uh, and I don't know Ruby. But I don't plan to watch Ruby before then. Wait, no, no. There is a story what mode. I, was, I, don't need a boyfriend. Yeah, I have this... Actually, it's... Fisk who owns the Steam copy of Undernight in Birth, but I suppose I could just log in on her computer. Or uh, log in her account on my computer and then game share, which is what was happening before, but then I had to uninstall Steam to fix a thing, and it removed our Steam library sharing. But I can just temporarily uh, log into a different Steam account. Because it won't change my local files, so I can still use VTube Studio. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But this is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? It's crime. So that high schooler left school early. And as she came down this street... Wow! Who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. I hate people who talk like this, but they, are, they exist in the real world. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Yeah, that's that's kind of the feeling I got. I, I can't... I vibe. I vibe with Vanilla Chie. 
But, uh... Golden and all the other iterations that where it's a different voice actress. I also like that Chie. I think they can both be... I think they're both really good in their own rights. It's a different interpretation of Chie's character. Even though the lines are all, by and large, identical, she reads them completely differently from the other voice actress. I know neither of their names off the top of my head, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh... Just passing by. Should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? He's my uncle. <laughs> I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. One is no longer a VA, but they were for a brief period of time. For a brief period being Chie. <laughs> Yeah, the other is Wakaba Ishiki's voice actress. <laughs> but you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. And Leslie, you were saying that that's actually your name. <coughs> and here is Young Detective. Hello, Young Detective. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Right, Aaron Fitzgerald. Oh my god, I am so bad with names. That run cycle. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? A time paradox? Nah. Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. I can raise it, but I, I asked at the start of stream if it was all right. So it might just be... It might just be you, but I am a lot louder than the game audio is. But I kind of would prefer to be, because I don't want to fight with the audio. The two of them left. You decide to head straight home. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Um, there was a murder, Nanako. <laughs> Do -do -do. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. That's not right. Nanako, let's change the channel. Nanako doesn't like boring news. Yeah, she hates the plot. She skips all the cutscenes on her first playthrough, no less. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamada. She wants quiz show. Yeah. At the local television station. I want quiz show too. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed. Actually, there's a quiz show in Golden as like the extra content for beating the game for the first time, and it actually quizzes you on like random information that happened throughout the game. Some of it plot related and some of it move related. Like I I think one of the hard questions is literally what level does name of persona learn Augidine or something like that. And I'm like, fuck if I know. It's not difficult. Because there's a save between every time, like, if you beat beginner, you don't have to redo it if you fail intermediate. Because it's like a whole load screen, but it's still kind of like, what? <laughs> uh, the, the Inaba Police Department, that's where Dad was. Just guess. <sighs> It'll be alright. Don't worry. I know. 
That's his job, so this stuff happens. <laughs> Nanako, who is supposed to be six, is actually 27. The body was found hanging from a large television and She's an up and coming Detective Conan. <laughs> Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. You have a one in three chance. Yeah, but you lose a point if you get it wrong. And when the final question is asked, um, it calculates how many points everyone has. So not only do you have to be fast to get points, you can't just randomly guess because you you can go into the negative. Poor Yosuke. When I tried the beginner to see what the fuck that thing even was, he had, like, negative three. <laughs> I was like, you're really quick at pressing the button faster than I am when I'm not sure what the answer is, and you are very confidently wrong. <laughs> With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident You can also win by homicide. doing literally nothing. Exactly. You could have all of them press the button and just get the questions wrong and win with zero points. <laughs> but, uh... That's, like, it's random chance whether the AI is correct when they do press the button. I think there's there was one instance where Yukiko got two uh, faster than me, and one of them she was right, and the other one she was wrong. But she just was so much faster than I could have been that I was like, huh. <laughs> a thick or use a guide and never touch it again. Hey. <laughs> plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Wow, you're so smart, partner. It's like, mm hmm. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Mario Party minigames of Luigi wins thing by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> In what? <laughs> Being stoic. <laughs> the way you just stood there and didn't do anything the entire game show and won despite that? Oh, I'm afraid of you. <laughs> I am actually concerned. They found her on the roof? Meanwhile, you is just Easter Island emote face. <laughs> Doesn't even reply. Oh, it's Juness. Uh, you like to think that's what Nanako is watching every night. She doesn't want to hang out. And get in touch with our products. That's amazing. Every day's great at your Actually, that's the thing. The question that I got wrong, I feel like a lot of people get wrong. The question that I had gotten wrong that Yukiko got right after me because I was like, because you can't answer if you've fucked up or something like that. I don't remember. But it was something like, what was on Teddy's, uh, what was pinned to Teddy's shirt when he first got his, revealed his human form? And I thought it was a rose. But in actuality, because it's so brief, you can completely forget about it. The first time uh, Teddy wears his clothes, he doesn't have anything pinned to the to the breast of his breast of his uh, button down. It's just empty there. Later, he has the rose, but his initial appearance does not have one, and I did not remember that. I did not catch that. Every day's great at your and I was like, "Wow, I feel bad." <laughs> I still won anyway with, like, three points. Meanwhile, I think Yukiko got one, then m missed and got zero. Chie never got to answer, and Yosuke got it wrong three times. <laughs> I was like, nice. Th negative three, three, one, zero. <laughs> Poor Chie wasn't quick enough. It's a uh, it's an extra mode that's in the main menu when you beat Golden for the first time. It quizzes you on random knowledge uh, that happens throughout the course of the game, whether it be something pertaining to the plot or something pertaining to personas. 
and other battle mechanics. It's not only story. I, that really tripped me up when it would it told asked me questions about like what persona learns this move at level fifteen or whatever, and I'm like, I fucking don't know. <laughs> You're a good singer. What the fuck is golden? You're right. <laughs> it's two thousand eight. <laughs> Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. <laughs> it seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. I think. <laughs> it's a color? <laughs> it's a shade of yellow. When is dad coming home? Nanako keeps looking toward the TV with a worried expression. As the audio skips in my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Signs of love! You asked Nanako for permission and changed the channel to the forecast. Cool. Persona is still niche! Yes! Let's see. Does it even have the date that I saved? No. It only has the the calendar date of the game. It doesn't have the it doesn't have uh IGT like calendar. You are tired from adapting to your new environment. Rest in your room. Sleep. Nothing happens uh, on the 13th. Whoa! There he goes! Someone. Maybe you should help him. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um... Yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Is your bike okay? That's mean. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Except you crashed at, like... Even if it was only 15 miles an hour. And it probably wasn't even that fast. <laughs> Zesty beasy. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, it's his bike. He probably cares about it. This is true. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? We found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think he cherry picked what he redid because sometimes it sounds like it, it's completely different and other times it sounds close enough to being the same that my memory is like not sure <laughs> i think it was some kind of warning there's no way something that weird could have been an accident you might be right dangling a dead body over a roof like that that's just messed up then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. I would Tomorrow never I hold a bike over a someone's squeaky, body. But it should be fine. It's like the, uh, it's a recreation of that time you bump into a catchy on, uh, inside the... The recreation of it where you bump into a catchy inside LeBlanc and you can ask his briefcase if it's okay. <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> I think that's only in vanilla, though, because you- I think you social rank up after that interaction. <laughs> Be quiet, you idiots! You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. 
No, dude, this is middle school. You're in the wrong place. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. I am so smart. I have not been able to open the menu once yet, by the way. I have pressed the button every opportunity I can. <laughs> so, you getting used to this place? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. I need to share this with everyone right now. Doing more Oka's voice, I moved my shoulder and pulled a muscle in my neck immediately. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I don't think it was me doing the voice. It just coincidentally happened right as I was doing that. The air is clean. The food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? Steak. It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning. So Child endangerment. What did he do? I don't did he do anything? But Z is my bike okay? Me, huh? My you non existent bike is fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, my trial of the dragon. You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Hello, Crucial. Doing good. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. It depends on how you wow, do it. Yukiko-san, you started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. <laughs> Your eyes could not focus enough to read that text? Oh. <laughs> it's- don't worry about it. <laughs> oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? I am playing it as a digital copy on my PS3, but it's basically also an emulation. <laughs> Jeunez Food Court. Amazing. This is the cheap place you were talking about? They don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. That is 100% different. I don't know why, but I remember the exact inflection of that line and he did not say it like that. <laughs> oh my god, why? Why do I know that? Why do I know that? Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. It feels so much sassier. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Why? Why oh, do right. I? Mm. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. He had to match Nuchie energy. <laughs> probably. That's honestly what it was. Is that they pr they were they were probably given a specific set of directions for for anything for Golden that had to be new, and he decided. Oh, no, nah, give me all my lines. I'll redo them. Because if he had this energy with Aaron's Chie energy, it would sound really weird. Because it would sound like she's just attacking him and he's just like, eh, <laughs> in response. He needs to have the same level of exasperation to match her levels of frustration. He can, I mean, the way he does it in Golden and everything else, he can still be very sassy. It's like, but sir, we have three hours. I said, let's do them all. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. Also, this might have been 
when Yuri was getting absolutely cheapskated to shit in his in terms of how much he was paid for his roles, which is probably why he got away with doing everything in Golden, because he was probably still ultimately paid less. <laughs> That's a possibility. We will never know because NDA, but we do know that there is a brief period, well, for any voice actor, really, but I know some people specifically talk about Yuri Lowenthal and Johnny Young Bosch getting absolutely shafted in terms of, like, the quality of their voice acting versus how much they were paid for the work they did. So our entire family came out here. And it's like, ugh. This is to welcome you to town. But yeah, that's it's that's probably what it is. is he just re-recorded it because the way he the way the other two were doing their new roles, he needed to match that energy, else it would be weird. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. You feel like the NDA is no longer in effect? Probably, but you never know. They probably still can't talk openly about it because that could affect future work. Because vo being a voice actor is hard. Especially if it's your only source of income or if it's your primary source of income. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. It's been an uphill battle <laughs> for a lot of people. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Oh, um... Uh, I'm... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> yes, let's piss off our potential employee. It's Sassy-senpai. Yeah, that's... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, be right back. I mean, unions and, and things like that are in place so voice actors get more protections and can actually negotiate with people who cast them for stuff in terms of, like, how much they're worth and how much they're, what their agreements are for their rates and things like that. But that was not super common when this game came out. Who's that? Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hana-chan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside. You look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. You can hear Golden in your head. See, that's exactly... That is exactly the type... That's the deja vu that I started having earlier, but was guaranteed with that once you joined on the freeloader train. Hey... If you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> you didn't get it until now. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. It's Thanks the though. same dialogue, but it's voiced completely differently, despite it being the same voice actor. <laughs> <sighs> Why did I leave school early yesterday? <laughs> Yes, Chie sounds hey, very different, but that's because Chie is here? voiced by a different person entirely. As is Teddy, which is why I, why we theory crafted that he probably changed his performance to match the new energies that um, Aaron Fitzgerald and uh, Sam Regal were bringing to the table as Chie and Teddy. Are you the transfer student? Oh, 
Did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Like, we like it's been an hour and 45 minutes. We're still barely in the game and I've already been given more whiplash. <laughs> than I ever needed to, <laughs> and nothing has happened yet. <laughs> he doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. I have played Silent Hill too. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can really <laughs> It felt less energetic, but you couldn't remember exact lines. <laughs> nah, he's a great guy! We're best friends! I would already die for him. I know. I'm just kidding. And she's like, uh... <laughs> yeah, Tracy- oh, Tracy Rooney's voice voiced Chie in this game, yeah. And Dave Wittenberg was Ted. Come on, senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Hey, bye, Saki. Later. Oh, uh, senpai? It's good game indeed, yes. I had... We had a bit of, like, a commentary... I had a commentary train. I played it with, with two other people as my witness. And some... Great... And cursed things were said by some of those people! <laughs> So we we had a final thoughts at the end, which yeah, it's cool. We got the leave ending, which is nice. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Um, pyramid head things, yeah, pyramid head things. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. Yeah, pyramid head things. She's the daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. They did help me with puzzles. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? I would be so fucking stuck. I would have just looked up the answers. <laughs> You're supposed to I still to ultimately did on a few. Alone, exactly they weren't just witnesses, yeah. <laughs> I may have controlled James, but I was not the one who brained out the puzzles. <laughs> While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Have I played FNF? I believe- I assume you mean Friday Night Funkin'. I have not, but I've seen a lot of footage of other people playing it. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban- Five Nights like at Freddy's. <laughs> I haven't played that either, but... Whichever one you're referring to, I have played neither. <laughs> Childish, huh? FNAF was probably it, more correct, considering it was right off of Silent Hill 2. <laughs> I, but I'm used to people calling Friday Night Funkin' FNAF, so... <laughs> My brain just went there when there wasn't an A. Of course I don't. It's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. The only ones that I'd be curious enough to play are World, a game that a lot of people didn't like, and Security Breach, a game that a lot of people didn't really like. <laughs> try it out. And only because uh, Security Breach is borked to shit, although they've updated it now that it's not quite as borked to shit, but you can still- there are still some things that happen in that game <laughs> wow. that are not normal, the last time I heard something this that are not intended gameplay. All that aside, 
You know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? And FNAF World because it's a JRPG. Or it's just an RPG. It's a turn-based combat system that's colorful, has a lot of loud sounds, and you can- it's actually kind of fun. People just wrote it off because Update 1 this overworld was so different from the battle screen that people just could it hurt it made people sick so update two happened and the overworld was in the same art style as the battle mode so it wasn't as jarring when you went from the overworld to the battle mode because it's random encounter Ooh, what if the yeah it's just a fun little silly thing <laughs> and i've seen uh, a specific individual play that game so many times in so many different ways. Sheesh. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? Like I never, I never saw a single bit of playthrough. I've still never seen like the full plot of the, of FNAF World, but I've seen someone play through the game with different self-inflicted challenges and limitations multiple times. <laughs> If that makes any sense. <laughs> All I am saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Also, it's cute. It looks very cute, and a lot of characters are cute. Which is weird, considering that it's a horror game <laughs> series. <laughs> have I played Minecraft? I have. Not, not very many people can say they haven't. <laughs> I didn't read what that line was. Oh well, Midnight Channel. We should try it out tonight. <laughs> That's why I said not very many. <laughs> you always gotta be careful. It's like the- has anyone ever- has anyone really not watched this show yet? <laughs> No backlog in this, is there? Nope. No button I press does that. Triangle advances the text. I think it skips it, though. So it's a good thing that there was immediately a dialogue option. Another dinner alone with Nanako. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday in the game and in real life. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural I suppose town. more accurately, the, the reasoning why I said not very many people can say that they haven't is because Heart and Scarf, um... Until, like, a few weeks ago, a month- coming on to a month now, they had never played, uh, Skyrim. And that's THE game that people are like, surely you've played at least a little bit of it. Surely you've seen someone play a questline of the game. But no. They had- they had genuinely seen nothing. At all of it, and went in completely blind. Which I did not- do. I had seen videos. I had seen the all Daedric quests for Skyrim and Oblivion before being able. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Yeah, so many people are like, seriously, who hasn't played this game yet? It's on everything. But I feel like the same can be said for GTA 5, and I haven't played that game yet. Well, I say that. My cousin owned a copy of the game, and I played it for about five minutes. But I wouldn't really necessarily call that playing the game. The first thing I did was get in the car and then not know what the acceleration button was, so I just kept turning the wheels while the radio blasted music.
in the parking lot, and I thought it was very humorous. Describing it sounds significantly less funny than it was in the moment. <laughs> When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was live, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. Like, I, like for Skyrim, I, I know most of the quest lines because I've watched somebody do the quest lines by, like, without doing the thing that you are required to do in the quest line, like Thieves Guild without committing any crimes, Dark Brotherhood without killing anybody. Or Mage's College without casting magic. <laughs> Which means no shouts, no staves, and obviously no magic. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Beat the entire game at level one. Including the DLC. Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you- Oops. Uh, um. The female student's face and voice are indistinct. But you feel like you've seen her before somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Mage's guild without casting magic, how would you enter? Stand on a bucket with a handle and grab the edge of it, and you will fly into the sky and go over the wall. So long as you can go through the doors and talk to the guy, it will advance the quest to that point. The only thing is the front gates leading to the bridge, will never be open. So every time you go inside the college, unless you fast warp, and in the later stages of the quest you can't, uh, that's the only way to get in. <laughs> but you can do it like that. <laughs> A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. I have not. I don't even know what that game is. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far... No one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Those are prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? They sound like, they sound like sports commentators. They do. They're way too excited about it. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is customer, customer appreciation, appreciation day. day. Come see, Come see for yourself and get in, and touch, get in with touch with our products. With our products. <laughs> every day is great at your Juness. Sing it, Nanako. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad. Can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> no? He seems to be asleep. <sighs> Jeez. Oh. Yeah, then I would- there's no way I would have played that game. Sorry. You good? He's asleep. You should leave him alone. Hello, Nanako. 
When I go to bed, I'll wake up Dad and tell him to go to his own room. Okay. No food in the fridge. Still can't open, uh... The menu. Do, 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 do. Made a promise to try out the rumor about the Midnight Channel. Return to your room and watch the Midnight Channel. Watch TV in your room. You can hear it raining outside. It is almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chia's story be true? I wonder who it is. I have. In Golden, it lets you open the menu immediately, but it, it, it's a, severely limited on what, like, parts of the menu are unlocked. But... What time of night does midnight happen? <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. Yeah, open the door. I have played Persona 3 Fez. I played that earlier last year. In the TV. Except not fully. Are you okay? No. Kind of. Okay. Well, good night. Monaco seems to have returned to her room. Can you imagine if that was a metal table? Ow. Ow. What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. That that did actually happen. Fisk has a scar on her forehead. We had a, we had a metal coffee table and she fell and sliced her forehead open when she was little and had to get stitches. And it was not fun because I think she was like Five? <laughs> what is best game to play or beast game to play? I... <laughs> of the series or just in general? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofue, and I don't know how much you know about the world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. <laughs> and since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Beastie, please stand up. When did AD, in other words, Anno Domini, begin? When Jesus was born. You gave the answer you think is correct. It is. Yeah, you seem to understand this well. And does anyone know what BC stands for? Oh, I'll just tell you. Before Christ, or the years before Christ was born. This is, of course, the way we count our years today, but it wasn't adopted in Western Europe until the 15th century.
There was some asshole on a game forum who said something like, I don't know how much you know about Japan, but I'm an expert. And they made fun of that person in the localization. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's so mean. But also, saying you're an expert about a culture that you aren't actively a part of sounds really weird, no matter what culture you're talking about. Like, if you're not Japanese and you say you're an expert about on Japan, that's just weird. <laughs> yeah. The best games I've ever played. Tales of the Abyss. Persona 3. <laughs> and... Devil May Cry 3. <laughs> I guess. Those are the those are the games that I like a lot. A lot a lot. Uh Disgaea 4. Disgaea 4 is also one. Three of those are J JRPGs. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was around that time that there were many religious wars and power shifts occurring. Anyhow, the world's beliefs have been an ever, in an ever-flowing tide since humanity began to emphasize religion. No 999? Okay. Y yeah, that's up there too. Yeah. That's a visual novel. That one's, that one's up there. Probably like it more than Devil May Cry 3. Even though it's a visual novel and people will gen definitely argue with me on that. <laughs> But yeah. It's a V and hybrid, this is true. It's not a pure visual novel. It has escape room puzzles. Most holidays are related to religion, you know. If you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. But regardless of the culture or the tradition, the tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. And those survivors ensure that their will is passed down to the next generation. But now it's time to start from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of civilization. Yes, the origin of civilization. Let's go! I still can't look at what my stats are! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! I'm not gonna get the questions wrong, though. It's so freaky. Uh, it's the 14th. Yeah, it's the 14th. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. So yeah. Uh, Tales of the Abyss, Persona 3, Fez. No. Um. Uh, 999 probably more than Disgaea 4 and... <laughs> Not probably. 999 and then Disgaea 4 and uh, Devil May Cry 3. Although that's not really in any particular order, but I do think 999 is better than both of those games, just because story. Gameplay, Devil May Cry 3 is probably the best of them, because JRPG mechanics, limitations, and such as that. But story... Persona 3 and Tales of the Abyss. There's... I'm not gonna... There's no way. <laughs> Where does Psychonauts fit? A, Psychonauts is a very good game, but I don't know if I would be like, ah, yes, one of the games of all time that I always think about constantly because my life is consumed by my obsessions. <laughs> but that one is a good one. I liked it. It was very charming. <laughs> Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, I... 
you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. It's okay. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. <gasps> By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? It means that your soulmate's a girl! I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Mugen Souls. Ugh. <laughs> I, uh, I gotta play that game. I gotta play that game on my own time. I don't I don't think that's a stream or a friendly game, even though it's a category on Twitch. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna stream that ever. <laughs> Her hair was brown, about shoulder length, but she was wearing our school uniform and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. There's a little more, though. I heard a voice in my head, I got a migraine, and I almost fell into my TV. <laughs> Weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. Yeah, and I have a bump on the back of my head from hitting it on the coffee table! <laughs> well, if it had been bigger, then... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Persona 4 and 5 and Minecraft. Persona 4 is a good one. I have some personal reasons as to why I put Fez a bit higher. But generally speaking, actually, that's like my favorite comment response. Uh, somebody had like a community post on YouTube about like, which one's your favorite? And I initially clicked four because I was like, yeah, it's all around the best one. Minus a few like awkward writing here and there. Jokes that they think are funny but are not. Um, at the expense of people who do not fit the bi the complete bill for normal if that even can be defined um but then i said nah fuck it <laughs> p3 for the win <laughs> oh yeah well flat screen tvs are definitely in these days and nobody voted for Persona 1, and only a handful voted Persona 2, and that made me sad. But also, at the same time, when you ask Persona fans which one's their favorite, not a lot of people ha even have even seen gameplay of those, so... Uh... <laughs> Wanna go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely! My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> <laughs> that line read- They don't believe you at all. You decided to go to Junez with the others. Junez Electronics Department. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? Ah, the era of when TVs were super expensive. I don't miss that era. 
I don't know, rich folks? <laughs> you had to get an HDTV to play this game, so this part hits so close to home. Yeah, TVs nowadays are like... <laughs> TVs nowadays don't even cost, like, gosh. The TV that's, like, downstairs is, like, 52-inch, and it was several hundred. Like, I want to say it was close to $600, and then we recently got, like, a Roku TV when we moved. Uh, like, a, a little over... Uh, has it been two years now? It might have been two years. Yeah, it's 2023. It's It's been coming on to three. It's been three years, almost three years since we've moved. But when we moved, we bought a Roku TV that's, like about the same size and it was only like a hundred something two hundred dollars and i was like wow <laughs> it's a higher quality than the tv that's downstairs newer by almost 10 years and yet was cheaper than the one that was downstairs when we bought it because the electronics became more affordable funny how that happens uh Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Yeah. Huh. Not worth trying, then, I guess. Ports. Well, at least looking's free. Give us ports. Make them good, though. Don't make them, like, barely functioning. Yeah, yours wasn't that much. You just had no reason to upgrade before. Yeah. I... The upgrade to a TV that was wall-mounted and was relatively flat was like... Whoa. Because... Gosh, how old is that TV? That TV is several decades. I think it's almost 20 years old. Because, um, the TV that was before it was a monster of a machine. It was about the size of a... Uh... It was about the size of a... It was a box. It was a huge box. It, it was a smaller width than the TV that it that replaced it because it was, you know... This, the square ratio. The 16 by 9. But it was heavy. Really heavy. And it was not wall-mounted. <laughs> Have I streamed Silent Hill 2? I have. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Also, yesterday's reset of the router has proven to have gone in our favor. I've only dropped 59 frames and it's been two hours. This is amazing. I didn't ha I didn't have to restart stream in the middle. Glorious. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? There's the one that's up there. It's a little small, mm -hmm. but well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model, just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. Yeah, we finished it a little while back. We have yet to finish Silent Hill 3, though. We are in Silent Hill, though, so the game's close to its end. It's just Fisk has been enjoying 3 significantly less than 2. So she's doing what I am I do when there's a game that I, like, know I have to finish. But haven't been super that enjoying it. <laughs> Which is procrastinating. You know I can't do that. Here. 
Yeah. It makes you sleep. Makes it make okay. Straight from the horse's mouth. Silent Hill Three makes Fisk sleep. Silent Hill Three, she sleep, which is unfortunate because I was kind of enjoying the game, but. I still want to finish it with them, so we can go into four, and I can get angry because that game is hard. <laughs> hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but four will keep Fisk awake. Yeah, because I'll be screaming constantly. <laughs> with a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Vesper. Oh yeah. What kind of TV do you? Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? Is his arm in the TV? <laughs> Whoa. It's just the energy that she carried throughout Silent Hill 2 and the jokes that she made don't really land as well when the protagonist isn't an adult. It makes her feel weird, so she doesn't really have any commentary to say. And so because she's quiet, she falls asleep. <laughs> uh, is that some kind of new model? L like, with a new function? <laughs> Hell no! There have been a few things that have happened, but by and large, it is like... I don't know, maybe it's just because of the pacing of some of the older Silent Hill games that it worked for 2, but it didn't necessarily work for Fisk for 3. You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Yeah, and it's still in there. Can you pull me out, please? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? <laughs> Help. Oh my god! <laughs> There's an empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean, inside? <laughs> Once again, you are the magician. I said that the other day, yeah. Yeah, you did! <laughs> you are the magician, Yosuke! <laughs> what do you mean, empty space? It seems very spacious in here. You tell them that. What do you mean, spacious? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? It's quite roomy. Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the- are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Shit, customers, they're coming. Wow, we've got a guy half stuck in a TV here. What are we gonna do? Pull him out. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> The answer was panic. <laughs> At least that was their answer. Ah, the sound effects that they did for them landing, because all of them landed on their backs! Ah! What is this inside Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh. What is going on here? Like, the sound is like when I pop my wrist, but pitched down. And they played that for Yosuke Land. Oh, so Cheers was a different uh, sound. We're still alive, but it right? still sounded like cracking bones. This is like, ah! <laughs> Uh, are you guys okay? Your understanding has increased. When am I gonna play Silent Hill? Uh, depends on the other two. 
I'm currently doing Personathon. <laughs> in which the only my life has been consumed by Persona. <laughs> Persona. Of course it is. And then um Today was supposed to be Tales of Asperia followed by Virtue's Last Reward, but we're that's happening Friday this week instead, because um it took too long to find a solution to our problems involving uh, the multiplayer not working. <laughs> Whoa. Wh what now? Did you wet your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. Is this a, a studio? All this fog, or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. Feel free. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? It is your choice. Uh, let's look around. Can't really go anywhere. Huh? But, but... I can't... If I leave it up to you, you'll just get confused, and it's not like we can go home. Look, we need to get home and... Yeah, that, my thoughts huh? exactly. <laughs> we fell. Which way did we come in from? <laughs> the sky. I don't see a way in. Or out. Came from the sky. That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? We're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look for a way out. <laughs> yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Uh down and think about this all right so i'm going to, to die <laughs> is there really a way out of here he wanted the doomed option we got in so we must be able to get out somehow well that's true but if there's no exit we're trapped so let's cross our fingers and look around <laughs> if there's no exit we're trapped yeah but there's- if there was a way to get in, there's a way to get out. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. We can make an exit, yeah. Looks if like we wander kind of around place, enough, we'll wind up in a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> also, remember how we were like, why, uh, why, when the doors first opened in Q, why black and red? I completely forgot. The sky, the sky in Persona 4 alternates black and red. Are you sure we're not wandering? And the doorways always do. I, I, I can't believe I forgot that, but I remembered. Because I was looking at it <laughs> and realized. I can't be positive, but... Knock down a wall. <coughs> I already have. I know, but on my about page, if you scroll down, there's a there's a widget for Personathon that shows all the games that I've played, what games are planned, and what game I'm currently on. And, yeah. <laughs> Seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. <gasps> what the? 
It's a dead end. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around, I can't it's not like we're ever coming back to this room. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. I already have. Anyways, what's with this room? Did I not add it to the widget? I thought I had. Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Somebody must really hate this person. Yeah. I agree, Chie. Okay, it's there. All right. Dude, cool. This chair and rope. That kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. This room is very disturbing. Let us leave. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go. I am sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. I already have. I finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? It's... There's something over there. An ominous bear. <laughs> that silhouette! Hi, Teddy! What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! Uh, what are you? You you want to fight? Don't, don't yell at me like that. The bear is caught cowering in fear. No, please, God, no! Oh, fuck, it's not Sam Regal. No, it is not. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. Uh, what are you? <laughs> I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? <laughs> no, don't bully Teddy. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> if I was you guys, he hasn't learned about topsicles and women and scoring yet. <laughs> Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. <laughs> Didn't know Teddy's voice was different in this. It's very different. I can hear it. And that he has no bones. Yes, I had no idea. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised that's not a command at this point. I should make it. Now it just feels weird not hearing Sam as Ted. Still less ear harmful than the JP version, not gonna lie. It's that type of huh? throwing people in. What are you talking raspy about? high pitch. Which can work. And I think for original Teddy it's fine. It's just once Regal steps in and does his not scratchy high pitched and just does the high pitched and doesn't have to strain his voice for it, 
whether intentionally or otherwise. It, that's just kind of like the accepted one. Also, the psychotic level of inflection that Teddy has in all the other games. <laughs> I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's this your is problem? Dave Wittenberg. What gives you the right to yell at us like that? Do I watch YouTube? I do. What are you? Where are we? It's already 8 p.m. Oh my god. What the heck's going on here? I don't have my persona yet. <laughs> my bit rate. I only you lost 200. You. Anyways, you should hurry back. There's no good place to break. There really isn't. <laughs> there really isn't. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Ah, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait, what? What the hell? Do I watch Markiplier? I have watched Markiplier. Well, where did these TVs come from? I don't really watch a ton of YouTube, and there's only a specific number of people that I watch regularly right now. Which is not many. <laughs> okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, wh what are you doing? Stop pushing! Like what? Uh... Mostly Astral Spiff. Huh? Is this...? And... Sea Dog VA. More of his Connor Dog channel stuff, though. Which means, vicariously, I watch a lot of Iron Mouse. <laughs> I, I watch Iron Mouse through... <laughs> and Snakes. Yes, I watch Snake Discovery. <laughs> Attention shoppers. Our daily limited because my YouTube suggestions are all over the place. Floor. And then I listen to music. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Huh. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? There. Hey, you're right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. <laughs> Yosuke hiding in the TV during his shifts from now on, honestly. Considering that he's... He essentially has no choice but to work in a department store. She's been all Just, over the news. It's like, oh yeah, I'm on my lunch break. Don't look for me. Hops in a TV so he can have some peace and quiet. <laughs> about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean... That weird room we saw. Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the Do his home where I can get paid to study. Hell yeah! <laughs> Aside from it being yeah, dangerous. Stop. <laughs> no more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. Little did he know that he would be spending an entire year solving this crime. <laughs> Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. He's a white mage, though. Yes, he is. In queue. He is the white mage. Hey, welcome home. 
unfortunately, I can't control his skills in this game like I can in Q. So, uh, other than him hanging on to Diorama with his dying breath, uh, or till his dying breath, I don't think he's gonna have any healing skills. <laughs> you still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She discovered the body. Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She yeah, you can control the party's learn set in this game. I remember that. We've got people looking for her. So he's never going to she give up Diorama. Yet. I honestly like the Persona 3 method of at least one person that isn't really a healer gets Diorahan, because I love emergency, like, sub-healing. Yukari, Akihiko, Mitsuru, Ken. And in this game, Yosuke, Yukiko, Teddy, sometimes also Yosuke. <laughs> Because I don't think Naoto or Kanji learn any healing, and Chie sure as shit does not. Me, I guess? <laughs> Yosuke is always in my party. <laughs> piling up. <laughs> the only time he's not is when I don't have a choice. <laughs> and now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Like the like I complained about this in Golden in like the the second to last dungeon in the in the Forgotten Woods or whatever the one that Marie's dungeon is that I never saw Naoto and Kanji's because I never had a scenario where I felt like it was viable to have Naoto and Kanji in the party at the same time. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. But I did it on purpose so we could see what their move did. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death. And then from that point forward, I think. Yeah, I was trying costumes for their quotes. That was also a thing that was happening. But ultimately, I want to say I brought Naoto to the final boss, which means. Yeah, because Yosuke's third form persona has a spread heal that also gives an evasion buff. So I used that. I had healing on one of my personas. I think I had Ishtar or something like that. And then, uh... No, it wasn't Ishtar. It might have been Sibylle. Sibylle might have been, might have been too low of a level. I had something that healed. That had res. And then I brought Naoto and Kanji. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region. I know I didn't bring Chie. And I'm fairly certain I did not bring Yukiko, but it might have been Yukiko Yosuke Naoto. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? It's been a while. It's been a year. It's been almost a year since the finale for Golden. Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. Yeah. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. Teenage. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. That's a weird reason to book another trip. Uh, I... <laughs> the announcer agrees. It's time for the weather report. Uh, you're being creepy. I'm going to change the subject now. <laughs> the rain has begun to subside. From now until morning... Heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. But yeah, costumes are not in this game, which means some of the events that you were forced to do in Golden that unlocked costumes don't happen at all. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. We cannot put ourselves in a vampire outfit. And run around and kill shadows in a vampire outfit. This announcer has a job in this timeline since there's no Marie to replace them. <laughs> Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn run by Yukiko's family. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. 
Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. There's a pixel on the floor next to Nanako that refuses to cooperate and keeps popping in and out of existence. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? There it goes! There it is! Ah! <laughs> you should get to bed after you take it. Okay. Hello, Nanako. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today, so you should go to sleep earlier. You'll catch a cold. Okay. Hello. Uncle. You should go straight to bed tonight. Spring cold can be tough. What if I eat something from the fridge? Damn it! <laughs> oh my god, a stopping point. Wow, I can take a break! Save successful. That's what we like to see. All right. Let me... Uh... Do this. All right. I'm gonna take a break here. Uh... Well, YouTube's not gonna see this, but I'm gonna take a break. Don't worry about it, YouTube. I just saved. So I think... It's time to go to bed. Yes. It's definitely not... just constantly updated upon the skeleton corpse of Justin TV. <laughs> Your body feels heavy. It would be best if you went to bed early today. I was never on this site when it was known as that. I just know someone who streams who was. Our characters were just in TV. <laughs> ah, good pun. <laughs> but yeah. To the surprise of probably no one. Twitch was purchased. And then changed to, to Twitch. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Okay, bye, Dojima. Ooh, root beer float. Nice. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Val has presented me with a toy that is covered in spit. He's waiting for me to throw it. Nanako looks worried. You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear sirens nearby. It seems there's been an incident. Also, did the stream completely restart? 
Because OBS still says I'm going live, and I've been live for three hours, but also my dropped frame count went from, like, it... When the bitrate went to zero and OBS disconnected, it was, like... It was going crazy. And was at, like, 10k. And then... When it reconnected, the drop frames shot down to zero. It's like, hmm. I have no idea what happened. It's supposed to storm today, but it hasn't hit my area yet, but I wonder if it's just already messing with stuff because of the wind. You decide to head to school. You are okay, Val. Okay, timer's still three hours. Hmm. I'm blocking the loading screen. This is the loading screen, by the way. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Oh, it's nothing. He is. He is a good boy. Yeah, Everyone, you're a good boy. Please, settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Oh, she sounds like that. I gave her a much different voice. First, the principal has something to say. I think that's Naoto's voice actress. <laughs> I... Regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. Hello, sir. He's being so cute. Somebody just died. You don't know. You, you would never understand. You would stare at the... Turn your model on its head and have it hanging from the top of the ceiling. Why? <laughs> That's an idea, but why? <laughs> if they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. I saw her on TV right, at midnight. <laughs> so we can see the loading icon. <laughs> So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Yeah, be careful. Don't share too much information, but also be honest. Mm -hmm. Found dead? How could this happen? <coughs> the principal's address continues. Here, I'll, I'll move out of the way. There it is. I don't remember what Golden's was, but it's not that. Announcer, right? It's so creepy. Uh, I see now why he's barking. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. Ball is in a spot that you can't reach. It was a TV. Ah! It... Was it? It was. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah! It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? 
Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh, it's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen is Saki Senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Uh. Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. Honestly, good on Yosuke for, like, hearing that information and being able to process it <laughs> and going, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? You might be right. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. <laughs> the one time? I don't know if this is the one time. Until Naoto joins, he's usually the one who's... theory crafting. <laughs> In terms of, like, the information that they gather, and trying to come up with, like, a pattern and stuff like that. What was it? Yeah, you and Yosuke do all the heavy lifting until an actual day. <laughs> the, <laughs> the brains of the team. It's just, I think, unlike Naoto, who's, like, not super sociable, but always thinks about... Like, she's very critical. Yosuke's kind of, like... He can... He can use his brain, but his mouth runs faster than his brain. That's why he's also the character who ends up saying really dumb and, at times, especially during certain points of this game, incredibly hurtful things. And Chie does stumble upon some good thoughts, too. She does. That's the thing that I kind of like, though. There isn't a, this character is the smart character. As in, like, yeah, Naoto's the smart one, but sometimes, when you're not sure the answer, all it takes is a second opinion. Or a third. Everybody brings things to the table. And they work together. They are a good unit. They are the ultra power unit. <laughs> Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. And they're like, aren't we called the investigation team? Where the hell did that come from? And he's just like, huh? Sorry, what? Kanji brings chairs to the table? <laughs> That's... He's... He's prepared. He's always ready for the team meeting. <laughs> Yosuke, don't tell me that. And Teddy brings snacks. They're mostly for him, but still. <laughs> I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. <laughs> don't do this. 
You should just let the police handle this and... He brings the chairs and the table. <laughs> Three brain cells, aww. But yeah, Chie does, especially near the end of the game, she'll say, she'll have, she's, she says a few things that she's like, yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. And everyone is like, oh my god, you're right, why didn't we think of that? And they don't, like, use it as like a, wow, Chie, you do have good ideas sometimes. It's just a, oh my god, Chie, you have a point. You're right. And she's, like, flustered about it, because they're not teasing her for being correct. They're genuinely like, yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah! We may be a bit closer! Thank you, Chie! We value you! <laughs> we value you! You are a wonderful person! <laughs> you think Kanji also has police? moments, yes. I love them all! I love their interactions so much. Character interactions... Character interactions that I like. Four has got the best cast, the best interactions. Everybody interacts with each other and not vicariously through the protagonist. I'm sorry, Persona 5, you failed in that regard. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die it's like beautiful. this. It's oh, beautiful. Yosuke. They really don't, though. There are, they are good interactions. There are good interactions in Five, but who does Futaba hang out with besides you? Who does An hang out with besides you? Who does Haru or Makoto or Ryuji? or Yusuke, or anybody. Who hangs out with each other when they're busy? Like, when they can't hang out with you. Who do you bump into most of the time? <laughs> Futaba has that one friend. Uh, who do you bump into when you hang out with somebody else? It's usually a different social link. Sometimes it'll be a party member. But most of the time, like, oh yeah, we're hanging out with the- we're hanging out with, uh, Hifumi. We run into... Chihiro. Oh, we- we hung out with On today. Whoa, it's... I don't remember that guy's name, but he's the moon social link, I think. The one that gives you the requests. And I was like, eh. Yeah, they're not very tight in it. No good Toro. Tora? I think it's no good Tora. Or is it Toro? I don't remember. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. I think the only one that I know that two members show up that are part of your battle party are Makoto. Because Moon Social Link guy shows up to help you find the creepy person that's there and the creepy Chihaya, sorry. <laughs> Chihiro, sorry. I meant Chihaya. I can't name, not, yeah, I can't name most of them. <laughs> Mishima, yeah. Mak you hang out with Makoto to find a creepy guy at the observatory. Mishima shows up and we talk about it and we're like, shh, it's okay. And then Yusuke ends up being the one that people were like, the that guy is kind of creepy. And we just were like, no, yeah, we came to see the stars too, Yusuke. It's pure coincidence that we're here. And you don't even actually hang out with him. <laughs> and it's like, aw. Strikers did a better job of, like, yeah, we hang out with each other. We're still friends. But the main game has, like, nothing. <laughs> Next to nothing. And it's like, dang. <laughs> Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. 
<laughs> it's Yusuke. <laughs> There's Laharl, yeah. <laughs> Get smoked. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Whereas, like, with Persona 3, it starts off that they're not teammates. They they don't trust each other in inherently. They're, they're co-workers. They just end up becoming a tighter-knit group. The story... The character development for them becoming friends revolves and grows as the plot grows. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yeah, three is like that on purpose. Five, I feel like it was just complete accident, but you can you can feel it. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. Yes. I can kinda understand how he feels. Five just does it wrong. And the thing is, is I like all the party members individually. I just. They don't really interact with each other. Also, three hours in, we can't be sure and we finally we get a persona, maybe. What should we Still do? tutorial. At least I'm not being told what to do. Uh, you, you serious? Yeah, I trust him. I trust that man with my life. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. But I'm just bad with names in general. You guys came. Akechi is awful in use case pretty bad. I wish they did more with them. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Uh the command. Also K KBB died apparently. <laughs> we came to stop you, idiot. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... Also, golf club. Did you away? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm worried about Chie. There's no telling what may happen over there. You voiced your concern over Chie coming along. Your understanding has increased. I don't even know yeah. if my stats are maxed. I can't look yet. Don't worry. I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. A rope. Huh? What's that? A, a rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then is this a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. <laughs> At the very least, they're not level one. <sighs> I am. Here. This is for you. He does got the squeak. He's holding the ball at the correct angle. Nice medicine. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. Ow, my fingers. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. In Golden, they return you to level one in New Game Plus. Okay, then it was probably just something they weren't able to change. And we're just like, nah. Yeah. Nice vegetables. Yeah, that's not in golden. Or that's or that is in golden. It's not in vanilla either. Yeah, we are in level. We are level one. See, I knew that's why I'm like, if golden did it, then that's fine, because it just probably means that it was something that they decided intrinsically. Uh, which is weird how three fez has compounding levels. But 
vanilla didn't. But two didn't either. Or just two does two? I don't remember what we determined with two. Is this great vegetables? <laughs> Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys, why'd you come back? Hi! I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. <coughs> All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? It was Nanako that calls them veggies. Yeah! <laughs> Did that someone throw those two in here? <laughs> if he said it, that would be really cute. <laughs> I don't know. We can't be sure. I can't say for sure either. But doesn't it bug you how this bear keeps saying someone's been throwing people in here? Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This you don't know. You were mistaken. Yeah. If he said great veggies, that would be amazing. Like, if if you did it with Nanako, like, in the later game, later stages of the game, she says it, and then he agrees, and he's, like, kind of stumbles over it while he just says the exact same, I would cry. <laughs> what? It would make me really happy. <laughs> hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. It doesn't work that way. See? So it is, you guys. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell You're us. You're already used to this, Teddy. <laughs> a dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. I just don't remember what human Teddy sounds like. Because I know, we know now that Sam does something, because Q made us realize, he alters the inflection a little bit. Enough where you can tell, but I don't know if he changes that for Human Teddy, which might have been why he was recast. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get Like, this away. voice works for Mascot Teddy. Human Teddy, though? I get it. If it's the same, I'm not too sure about that. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. 
We'll see when we see. Shadows get violent. Pima Teddy with this voice would be hilarious. <laughs> That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying... You might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. But... Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Don't push him, I won't. He'll probably uh, fall over anyway, I'm but I'll so try not to. <laughs> people that get thrown in here. Huh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that film. Preemptive, don't push him. <laughs> always been like this? Only me and Shadows are here. I told you before. No. <laughs> Look, we don't know what these shadow things are, or what you no! are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Whoa! What the hell are you? It, it's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. <laughs> I just want to live here peacefully. Okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. No. You have to stop him. Promise me, or else. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> what are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. What should we do? <laughs> She's a nuggy no copy. No. Remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery <laughs> will be imposed upon you. We don't have access to the velvet room yet. Yeah, no, we don't. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? And what was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. We will live in the TV world. You're the only ones I can ask. <laughs> will you promise me? That's probably not going to work in the long term, but... <laughs> I promise. Bear, practically holding a gun to our heads. No, that's Persona Three. <laughs> but it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, look for the. Oh culprit. shit! Sorry. Bring it on. You got my word too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. ZBC. You got a name? Teddy. 
Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. I have... Chad is simultaneously the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other. Well, I'll take you there. <laughs> you might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You What's your real name, on? Beastie? <laughs> oh yeah, Z Beastie. If I was French, that would not... <laughs> <laughs> glasses. What are these glasses for? To see with. As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. <laughs> no. <laughs> They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. Has <laughs> entered the chat. I am what usually the one who on causes you? things. <laughs> there not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We I have a be. golf club. <laughs> so dangerous. Why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Or bones. Or organs. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Hell yeah. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? I can do anything. Try touching Teddy. For real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? He's like a turtle, quick! Put him back on his feet! Oh yeah, can I ask you something? Who's this Saki-senpai person? Someone you know? <laughs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. Yeah. Wait! What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled. I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, uh, I can't stand too close, you know. I I'd get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. <laughs> Your bait. <laughs> Out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? Silyosuke. <laughs> How should no. I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Let's go. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second, they're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Oh! Huh? Oh! Uh, I've also forgotten to do this. My bad.
This is true. I'm sorry, is Izanagi no Okami voiced- I'm sorry, is Izanagi voiced by Silverstein? Or was it also Johnny Young Bosch just doing a really deep voice? <laughs> It should still be Johnny Young Bosch, yeah. It's quite a performance. I have a question. Does anyone remember and the Persona 5 First Awakening? Did it do the zoom in on the mouth saying Persona? Like it does in 3 and 4, where they do the Persona. I feel like it wasn't, mostly because that Awakening is probably one of the most violent at the start. Some shadows have weaknesses. Shivers. It rips off everything else. This one has a weakness too. It's a two electricity. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. Okay. Try stuff out and see what works. Yeah. Okay, he does. Okay. I don't need help. I know what I'm doing. You don't even know if he says Persona to begin with. What attacks have what effects on enemies? You're a Google it? Okay. That was not correct. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not gonna change what I said. <laughs> More medicine! Hey! Hey! We're level two! Hey! Awesome! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, never mind. Hi! <laughs> ZBC has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The Persona Izanagi. Whoa, what was that? It was a persona. Did I hear you say persona? What was it? It was a persona. I mean, what did you do? I summoned a persona. Hey, you think I can do it too? Summon a persona? I don't know. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? You were wrong. Oh my god, they didn't. <laughs> That's what I thought. This is really <laughs> something. He gets set on fire. <laughs> yeah, That's true. He does do that. I remember that much. <laughs> Don't you think so, Yosuke? And then just smugly busts with a smile. Call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? <laughs> Sorry. It's a cool awakening, but I don't know. There's just something really chilling that I really that I appreciate with just the zoom in where you only see their mouth as they slowly say as they slowly say persona and then the, f the face, specifically Makoto's. That <laughs> that smirk as his eyes glow. 
And then Orpheus is like, I am the master of strings. And then proceeds to explode as Thanatos tears itself from his body. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. And then it screams like a... With, it screams with the sound effect of a stock SFX of a dinosaur and then beats the shit out of the out of the full moon shadow. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> Alright. You two keep it up and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Let's not. It will be. Let's be a little careful about the joke. Yeah. He did get a headache, though. Here. Right about when Thanatos showed up, understandably so. Kind of blew up Orpheus. <laughs> Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Oh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that storm. What the? Oh. I'm just throwing out a warning to not to not push it. There. Making jokes about stuff like I, I get it, Persona 3 it does that. But some people can respond pretty negatively to that type of humor. That's all. I'm just I'm just saying like a let's be a little more careful. That's all. I'll leave it. No one is in trouble, but I don't want to- I don't want to kickstart a, a trend of people making the joke repeatedly. My, Just in case. she, with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. Like the Shinji one. I never stopped the Shinji one. And I feel like the joke is more my reactions to the Shinji, Shinji death jokes than the fact that Shinji died. <laughs> Shinji is your joke. It is. You, you waited. You waited until the day after October 4th to just go for it. <laughs> You had stockpiled and written down, clipboarded all of your potential jokes and just fired them off. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Poor Shinji. <laughs> He's my favorite character. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So... Does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Alright, in we go. We're gonna fight a boss. I also lost some frames at some point. Alright, let's go! Not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're <laughs> That's the streaming Blues and Friends. Who's owned this store for generations. Yeah, but you know what? I there's nothing with certainty yet. But there's been talk of my city, the city that I live just outside of, getting fiber. If it extends beyond the city limits and I get fiber, I will never have to deal with this <laughs> ever again. <laughs> well, I'll probably still have to deal with it occasionally, but it won't be as frequent and it won't be as drastic. <laughs> Did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I 
can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai Darn. Really saw things? Darn. That actually sucks. I'm sorry. Because... I want... I want fiber internet. I want fast internet. <laughs> I kind of need it to stream. These photos. Like, okay, so I've had some really good ups where it's like only occasionally losing a handful of frames, but uh, yesterday is a really good example of just sometimes it don't. It don't. <laughs> what bullying? We took the other day with God. the other part timers at Juness. Maybe because it's specifically that. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. A pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. And I feel so sorry for myself. Boo hoo! Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I don't think he redid these lines. I think he left Shadow Yosuke the same. Huh? Two Yosukes? Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. He only had three hours. <laughs> Especially living out in the sticks. Okay, maybe he rated what are you these. Saying? That's not true. I... You put on a good show of being carefree and Maybe because it's the only time Shadow Yosuke shows up. Yeah, I don't think if anybody redid their lines, they probably didn't redo any of the shadow ones. Like thinking about it. With Yosuke now as a proof of concept for this, if Regal didn't voice Shadow Teddy lines over for Golden, then there was no need for Yuri Lowenthal to revoice Shadow Yosuke. The more the barrier, right? <laughs> no, the cat. By people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason he came snooping. Oh, I liked a tweet of a meme that I just remembered now. And I didn't share it in the memes of Discord. I don't know why I'm thinking about it right now, but I am. Maybe because it's nine, and I'm getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. You know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming. Uh, here, the meme you? is dog owners. Uh, someone asks, "Oh, what breed is it?" And the other person goes, "It's a golden retriever." And then, it go and then underneath it is cat owners. The person asks, "How much of an asshole is it?" Person, res other person responds, "Very." <laughs> True. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> You're just trying to act like a big shot. 
all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! <laughs> and that senpai you were so sweet on? You have a lap dog? Yay! That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. Did you find it immediately? Oh my god, you did! <laughs> The dog drawing contest me most. Yes, <laughs> that one. Long live democracy. I think is what that one is. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, the winner of the dog drawing contest. Please under, please note that <laughs> that winners were picked by based on number of likes. <laughs> and on the left, second place, this is really well drawn. Uh drawing of a of a dog and the and the one on the right <laughs> you can't be me you son of a bitch <laughs> oh <laughs> f5 that's right say it again you're not me you're nothing like me hmm. yeah that's right i am me now I'm not you anymore, see? Also, that line was raw as hell. And then he immediately loses consciousness. Do not kill me. I haven't saved. Goodness. Zio, maybe? Nice. Oh, uh, drift, drift. There we go. Okay, well he charged. Guard. Ha, that's it. Boring. Ah! Soda. Soda. Guard again. Do it. No! How dare. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you? Thank you, Teddy. I'm gonna do a cleave. But there's no defend command. Zio. though. Okay, thank you. Damn it! Never mind! No, oh, thank god. Okay, medicine. <laughs> Every battle is going to be like this. Yeah, it's going to be... A lot of playing more defensively, unless I become overleveled, which... <laughs> Just gonna say it's possible. Do I have enough to just basic attack? Yep. Bye! Shit, I leveled up twice. I'm level four. And he learns Tarakaja. I, I, Yosuke, are you okay? No. <laughs> Yeah. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> you. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems to reluctant to accept it. You're still yourself. You're still you. Myself. Damn it. it. Hurts to face yourself. Manifesting I one's own personal demons. I'm so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. I love the. I love the 3D models for this one because they just look so creepy. <laughs> I'm Yosuke, and you're Yusuke. <laughs> With an O. <laughs> and he's just like, what? Yeah, yeah, whatever, close enough. <laughs> Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. Neat. When he heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass. Huh. Two Persona Awakenings in one stream? This is going fast! It is. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, 
I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. That is something that I appreciate with four as well as three. There's never like yeah, by the end of Kamoshidas, you have a full party, but there are a couple of moments, granted most of it is tutorial, where you're two people or only three people. <laughs> And it's like, oh no. <laughs> Especially on really hard difficulties. I can't imagine... I can't imagine the tutorial being very fun. <laughs> hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. Like, it happens pretty quickly, whereas in this game you get... You do have Yosuke, and Chie is pretty fast, but... Your first boss is not a full party. And you don't really have a for certain dedicated healer, and one of the people you have to bring is weak to fire. <laughs> the shadows here were mm. originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. But you can guard in those games, so that's something. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. I'm going to put you on direct commands as soon as I am able, Yosuke. <sighs> Unless I forget. Yosuke, we could try, one. act freely. I don't want to. We're on expert. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> this world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I'll remember pretty quickly. Yeah, I will. Let's go back. When he goes off and attacks something, I'm gonna be like, wait, no! No. Hey, Teddy. You said that I this place extra. is reality for people who enter, right? I know I flip flopped between it, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna do expert. I wanna be I wanna be able to walk away from them saying, yes, I am an advanced gamer. <laughs> so that shopping district and the weird room we saw before. The words that the game used, not me. Yeah, I backed out then backed in, but I <laughs> I have accepted that. There's only three difficulties. This isn't like golden where there's like five or six. And the hardest difficulty in Golden is harder than Expert. It became their reality? I think it'll be fine. Although, now that I've, like, you know, dedicated myself to playing on hard, I'm probably gonna have to do that for per Portable 2. That'll be fun. I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. It was the same for them? The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before. But both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. Hmm. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You are lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. We were stuck here all alone. No one could save us. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Contrarian king. <laughs> Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous. But we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Contrarian King kicked your butt on easy. Oh no. 
No, yeah. Yukiko's boss is not easy. I kind of like thought about it for a second as I was describing like, oh yeah, the first time you fight a boss, you have only three people and one of them is weak to fire. And then I remembered after I had announced, yeah, this is going to be weird on expert. Uh, I'm on expert and Yukiko boss is a thing. Like how you guys just saved me? Hmm. We need to find the culprit. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make This is true. If I have the money, once I acquire the money, I should have access to my compendium personas. And then we will be cooking. You just, you're shit Dude, I don't even know if I have that one. Oh yeah, KBB is still dead. I forgot about that. Uh, um, it, can I ask something too? Yes. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Shadows. You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. I did not- the last time I played this, I'm fairly certain we did not max all social <laughs> links. To be honest, I never thought about Stream it Stream elements now. is KBB's persona. <laughs> Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. <laughs> Will you guys come back here? We made a promise. You'll keep your word? Yeah! Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. To deal with chat disconnect carb oh, chips, yeah, that's yes. Right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. Okay! The TV at Junez? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? But what happens if somebody happens to buy that TV? <laughs> Unlikely, but... Roger that. One exit, coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Then we surprise them in their living room. <laughs> or just change the price tag to something outrageous. That's possible. I think the thing is, is that the cost is already really high for the people here. Like, the people in Inaba. So... People don't usually come through the electronics department because of how expensive everything is over there. Huh. Like, sometimes people will come by, but it's not a very busy... Yosuke just says it's display only. That's right, he does say that. So even if somebody purchased it, it they would be getting a different TV ultimately. Yeah. Whoa, what's with that face? Also, the glass. Ow! The nerve of you guys! You are such. <laughs> what if that's the only one left? Then shoot. <laughs> I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off, and I had no idea what to do. I was so worried. I mean, scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! I... I 
think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. What if he was in critical condition? He just gets knocked to zero HP because she ate through a, through rope at him. And she's like, oh my god, what happened? And it's like, oh, we just fought a boss. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. See you. He was at 4 HP, GA, how could you? <laughs> Near the floodplain while walking home from school. Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? I like it here. Hi, Yukiko. <laughs> really? Yeah! But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I have a new best friend! <laughs> I've never been out of Innova. So I wouldn't know what it's like to try to Yosuke got before. folded. <laughs> you just walk up to her and just say that with no context. <laughs> and she's like, what? Like a folding chair? <laughs> it is something like that. <laughs> oh. He got What's knocked unconscious. I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> It was actually very upsetting, but he's okay. <laughs> We're getting along. <laughs> they don't have our slang! <laughs> yeah, we're from the future. <laughs> and she's just like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> she is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the <gasps> extra push I need. <laughs> We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. And she just goes, I tried making one of those once. <laughs> our inn can't function without me right now. I should try again. Um, see you at school then. <laughs> Dad's late. <sighs> yes. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The but remember, court has established Miss Konishi's time of Nanako thinks the news is boring. She doesn't like night. plot. Unless it has something to do with her. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. She just like turns off the TV in the middle of the thing and we're like, Nanako, we were watching that. <laughs> Another incident. She's like, but it's depressing. I don't want to watch the news about depressing things. And we're like, shit, she's got a point. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. <laughs> Even when it involves her, her eyes glaze over. <laughs> Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Yes. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, 
located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko is on TV wearing a kimono. In other words, Whoa. she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? Knock it off, reporter. Yeah, it's like, oh wow, she's in high school. A high school reporter? Or reporter. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Is it true you're still in high school? <laughs> high school manager. <laughs> oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... How the fuck do you respond to that? It, it, no matter your age. But especially when you're in high school. <laughs> it's like... Huh? The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. I agree, Nanako! Oh, I need to do the dishes. This is a stop predicting the game Z moment, <laughs> I think. I didn't actually know she was- I didn't remember she was gonna say, this is boring. <laughs> She hates plot. It's boring! Finally! <laughs> Status. Me. Info. Other than my diligence, I am almost all maxed. You'll let it pass, okay. <laughs> That, those are some stats! Yes, I already have a guide, which is why I chose certain dialogue options, like I'm worried about Chie. <laughs> when you're diligent enough to max every stat except diligence! It is! It really is that meme! <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I remember that. Persona. Yeah. Sukukaja, Bash, and Dia. He actually doesn't know Sukukaja yet. He learns that in two levels, though. Garu is what he has. Nothing catches my eye. Except diligence. Stop predicting these stats, Jumpy! <laughs> it goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes. It does. Oh yeah, subtitles. System. Config. Vibration, voice, auto advance, cursor memory. I like cursor memory being off. Voice, vibration, yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera reverse on? Ooh, I don't know about that one yet. And no, there are no subtitles as an option. I have 24,000 and I don't feel like I'm supposed to. Save successful. Hmm. 
What items do I have? Oh my god. Ooh, I have a lot. I have a handful. 25% of the compendium, 50%. Okay, rank 10 Yosuke. Rank 10 Yukiko, rank 10 Kanji. Rank 10 Dojima, rank 10 Risei. Rank 10 Chie, rank 10 Nanako, rank 10, rank 10 Ko, rank 10 Sayoko. Yeah, I did not, we did not get through that many social links. I'm surprised we even maxed Dojima. I have no idea what the fuck we did to manage that. <laughs> You're gonna binge read three ma manga and manhwa? Ooh. Also, I don't think it kept my items. I don't think I got to keep my items. I don't think I got to keep my equipment either. But yes, I think we're gonna wrap up there, because it's almost 10 p.m. Say goodbye to YouTube, everyone. But yeah, we got started! With Persona 4! We're gonna do this... Tomorrow, Thursday, for people on YouTube who don't know, because I am horrendously behind on my uploads. Woo! And Friday will be Tales of Asperia. Friday will be Tales of Asperia. And you get to see our wonderful solution that we have to all of our problems. I feel so good. I feel so good. Upload them all tomorrow and catch up. No one's going to watch them if I do that. <laughs> Tales of Vesperia. Asparagus is funny, though. <laughs> I might use that in a title in the future. <laughs> yes, goodbye, YouTube. Night bye. Yes. <laughs>